Kent Brockman at the first annual Springfield Grand Prix, which, like all our town showcase events, is not only poorly planned, it's horribly executed. Wait for the gap. Wait for the gap. There's the gap! Ah! Gap's too small! Ah! A peloton? Ah! I hear tapping from inside. Oh, what's going on? I right, keep it down in there. <laughs> Geek leak. <laughs> hey Bart, at least I've got a date. So is this a date date or just a meaningless friend thing? Meaningless True friend. True love super thing. date. Now you listen to me, Bart. Millhouse may not be the perfect date. Please let there be a butt coming. Please. But landed it. At least I'm with someone who tries a little too hard because he really likes me. It's oh, what's my other inflatable doll doing here? <laughs> what? What? Oh, I ain't here with no one. Hey, plenty of babes have docked at Porto de Barto. Yeah, for about a week. But as soon as they get to know the real you, they depart to De Barto. That's why you're alone tonight. Oh man, Lisa's right. None of these relationships lasted very long. Three days, one recess, half a field trip. Why did I have to get so needy at the planetarium? Hey, what are you looking at? My ex-girlfriends. Oh boy, I feel for you. Nobody likes to be rejected and it never gets easier until you can drink. Because then you can express your unfiltered feelings by drunk dialing. But I think I'll visit my ex-girlfriends and prove they still like me. Hey, it's me. I was thinking about you. Eat this, jerk! You've got a lot of nerve showing up here and not giving me a kiss. Inappropriate! I miss you, stalker. Save me! Eat my shorts! Drop dead. I don't know if we should be up here, Bart Simpson. And why is that? Because the floor ain't finished. Daddy just covers things with hay and says they're done. Mary Spuckler, you're my last chance. She's pretty cute for Cletus's daughter. Yeah, she got to drink milk as a kid instead of white paint. Is Mary here? I'm afraid Mary done run off. We knows not where. Dad gummit. She ran away after we engaged her to old man Willbottom. But I was gonna be a good husband too, if and I ever get out of this well. Hey, W. I know where my sister run off to. New York City. New York? That's where Sesame Street is. Do you ever wonder what happens to Oscar on Garbage Day? Yep, New York. Mom, can we go to New York to find this girl I used to know? Bart, that's sweet, but we'd need airplane money, hotel money. And $500 for Yankee tickets, which turn out to be bogus. Homer, that sounds like the sweet smell of success. It didn't feel like success. Your mother and I talked about it, and we found a way to get to New York. Club Galosh! Get your Club Galosh! Oh, jeez, not this guy with his stupid little push square feet, huh? Old Club Galosh! Used to be bookstore! <laughs> All right, I'll spring for a cab. Much better. So this is basically what we can afford. Okay, second balcony, partially obstructed view, no bathroom privileges, and you must stipulate that in emergencies you can change a spotlight gel. Well, at least I'll be able to say I went to a Broadway show. Here we are. Anything you leave in a cab, you'll never see again. Oh, 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 thank God you woke up! I'll get us some ice cream. What's the matter, darling? 
Thanks for asking, Duchess. I'm sitting here waiting for a girl that's never gonna show up. Well, there's a girl standing right here. It's me, Mary. So, Bart Simpson, did you really come all the way here just to see me? Yeah. Plus, I thought I might get to see an air conditioner fall on someone's head. But I guess that never really happened. Ow! Is that your father? What was that? So, what did you do with your dad? We're safe because you have to climb steps to get up here. <laughs> Can't move. No. How's your mama and your sister? Trying to find high culture at low prices. No, Lisa! If you click that turnstile, it'll blow our budget. <gasps> ah! Give me some news of Springfield. They let Sideshow Bob out of prison again. Huh. Didn't know they still ran those trains. Sir, may I borrow your guitar? Sure, sure. It's the case that makes money. A boy I knew turned up again. Kinda liked him way back when. I really like you, Bart Simpson. I've come to take you back, Mary. Daddy? Now, Mary, you listen to me. I'm one-third your father, and you're gonna come back. Y'all will excuse me. I gotta freshen up for the ride home. Enjoy your fancy-schmancy in-house for the last time. All right. Broadway's too expensive, the museums are over-curated, but Shakespeare in the Park is tonight, and the tickets are free. Get your cuckold's horns, neck ruffles, Yorick skulls. I'll take a cuckold's horn. It works! Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. I'm afraid that tonight's show has been canceled. Not so fast. We came for Shakespeare, and we're gonna see Shakespeare. Anyone who wants to be in this, grab a doublet and meet me backstage. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Those the people who took over the theater? Pepper spray and power wash. The New York hug and kiss. Goodbye, Bart. And don't worry, there'll be other Mary Spucklers. Bart, if any girl tries to fix you, let him, because you got a couple of big problems. But mostly, you're great! <sighs> I guess I just gotta let Mary find her own way. Come on, let's head on back to Springfield. You want a picture of her for your wallet? Oh, she's somewhere in B3. Thanks, man. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. And if you're worried about when the air conditioner fell on my head, rest assured it was a stuntman. And his family is being well taken care of. Why do we have to play this stupid game Lisa likes? I don't like this game. Nobody likes this game. Even the kids on the box look bored. They're miserable. We have to do something until the storm passes. We made it, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This counts as a walk. The tornado took old what's his name? I'm going after him. Hey, Homer, we were just doing a little storm chase. Don't worry, Marge, we bought a ton of safety gear from a highly respected storm chaser's widow. <gasps> okay, the tornado that took your dog looked like an F3 moving westerly. Look, you guys obviously know about weather, but I understand something much more predictable. Women. I'll tell you what women really want. A man who can hold a note the longest. That is the stupidest... What did three go? Uh... Homer, you do not have to compete with your friends for me. I would never do that. Uh... Enough with the singing! Fine, but I swear I will win you back from Lenny. Nato! <laughs> We're cutting the cut of close. Not to worry, we're safe in the van. <laughs> God, what is it I'm paying you for every Sunday? And here comes Santa's little helper. <coughs> Homie, we made it. Ah! Oh my God. <gasps> I don't know.
if we're going to be able to get out. What are you writing? Maybe the last words I'll ever write. Oh. Police have arrived on the scene after having fled the state at the first sign of the storm. Bulletproof, as I somewhat suspected. But don't you worry. Hey! Hello! As for you, your only hope is this glass-cutting guy from the hardware store. You guys want to come out in a plain circle or kind of a rosette shape? Just cut the glass! Except for the face full of glass, when the door finally collapsed, he did a pretty good job. Found another one. It was so scary thinking something might happen to you guys. Tell me, if we did both die, we've never named guardians. The kids could end up wards of the state. Connecticut? No, our state. Ah! Okay, you're right. Okay, how about my brother? He's rich. Hi, you reached Herb Powell. I'm poor again. D. There's really only one choice. My dad. Oh, you'd let me have another chance after the way I screwed things up with you? Yeah, good point. We'll find somebody else. Yep, you're a big bag of blubber soaked in worthless juice. Sugar? Oh, how very kind of you. I am not giving our kids to these gravelly voice super hags. One lump, please. Homer, my sister's adopted Ling and she's doing great. Ling, music time. Hmm, maybe we better go. Didn't you want to ask us something? Goodbye forever. Mm -hmm. Help me. I think it's time to go off family. Let me get this straight. We have 17 kids and you want us to take three more? Anything new that wanders into this house winds up in the stew pot. Uh-oh. <gasps> uh I wonder if word has gotten out that we're looking for guardians. Where are we going? And why are we wearing our good clothes? With name tags on them? But we're looking at replacements for your mom and me if we should fail to die together as a family. This is a pretty important decision. How about asking that Japanese guy who set the world record for eating hot dogs? He's like a successful version of Dad. <sighs> Maybe we should just give up for now. Have some fried clams and collect sea glass. Whoa, look at that guy. Yo, I'm Mav. Someone's smitten. Whoa, way to shrub the Krispies, babe. My wife, Portia. Another surfer. Environmental lawyer. <sighs> um, why don't we discuss it over dinner? Discuss what? Things that you're desperately missing from your life that you never knew you needed. Cool, see you at six. Your house is perfect. No sharp corners, no unsafe balconies, a cool grandpa. I love two things, shutting up and giving away money. Ooh, thanks, Dad. Hey, say, listen, Portia, how would you and Mav feel about, um, swinging? Uh, with you guys? Uh, seems like my husband would be getting the much better deal. No, 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 I, I meant pushing kids on swing. This is so fast. It's so hard to get to know a child after just one day. I, hmm. Babe, when a killer wave hits, you can't spend your whole life deciding if you want to drop in or not. It just might be the most righteous tube we ever shot. Man, you sure can talk surfer talk. Homie, it's been a wonderful day. But do you think maybe we're moving a little too quickly? Worry wart, Marge. You don't look a Trojan horse in the mouth. It's so all good, bra. Great. And now my dad can notarize. I still have my uses. Mm-hmm. Name another. Oh. Homer, Marge, we have a favor to ask. Too late. You already signed. Oh, wait. There's one more. Listen, Homer, we just wanted to know if we could borrow the kids for a weekend at our ski house. We thought they could pick out their bedrooms. A whole weekend? I don't know. Hey, if they can watch him for the rest of their lives, they can certainly do it for a weekend. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the 
Mark, this has been great couples time. The one thing people with kids desperately need is no kids. <gasps> Steal our kids! It all makes sense now. That's why they took our kids so quick. Like all childless couples. What if they are better for the kids than us? Mart, let me set your mind straight about something. That spectacular young couple is definitely better for the kids. But those kids are ours because we made them by accident. Homer, Marge, I understand your anger, but your kids are more awesome than the brakes at Waimea. Those better be good brakes. How could you possibly think you could get our kids? It happens more than you know, Marge. I'm a lawyer, he's a surfer. That combination's pretty unstoppable. Well, I'm afraid that we don't want to be with anyone but Mom and whoever she chooses to be with. Kids, your father and I have decided we're not in such a hurry to get you guardians.